and welcome to this episode of Healing with Tony. There are many ways to heal emotionally, physically, mentally, psychologically. There are tons of different modalities that we can use, Eastern, Western, pharmaceutical, regular doctors, acupuncturist, chiropractors. With all these different different methods of healing out there, I'm on a journey to share some of them with you. Today's method of healing is 100% natural, does not hurt, and can clear things like that. And it's actually called the clearing. So people contact me all the time and they're stuck in their life. They're stuck in relationships, in love, in finances. And I say, let's just start clearing this right away. Let's stop talking about it and let's start clearing it. Whatever, repeating whatever got you here isn't going to fix it. Talking about whatever brought you to this point isn't going to fix it. So now it's time for us to clear it. But we don't know how to clear it on our own. We want it to be done, we want it to be gone, but sometimes wanting it to be gone is not enough. My very amazing guest, Cindy, today is going to, has volunteered to be a guinea pig to show you how simple and easy this work can be and pain how free. pain free and amazingly effective at the same time. So the clearing work incorporates muscle testing, kinesiology, along with clearing stuff from you. I call in, or the angels, or Holy Spirit comes in and just starts taking these things. We start with simple questions to make sure we're getting honest answers and our energy is running direct. So Cindy, if you could just please make the statement, show me a yes. Show me a yes. And Cindy's body goes forward. Forward is yes, true, positive. Good job. Now, show me a no. Show me a no. And she's going backwards, see? Just like that, mm -hmm. perfect. Now she's not moving her body. This is a form of muscle testing or kinesiology that is moving her body. Your body responds to what's true. Your body also responds to what's false. Let's watch this, say, my name is Cindy. My name is Cindy. Now, <laughs> my name is Nemo the fish. <laughs> my name is Nemo the fish. Now, because that's false, she's going backwards. Now we're gonna start the actual work where we really get into it and start releasing things, and this is the yum yum of this. I would like you to say, I am clear. I am clear. Oh, so we're going to right away start to clear her. Clear, 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 clear this now, clear it into the void. Oh, no, 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 apparently I'm so not. Facts. So she went backwards, which is a no. So we have to get her clear before we can start the work. So now, Cindy, I want you to explain what does it feel like to be being pulled backwards right now? Do you feel something leaving? Do you feel something pulling? I'm still getting pulled. Yeah. So it's the lower back that you... Oh, you know what? Pressure. And that is the lower, if you're into the Eastern or you know anything about chakras, the lower back is the root chakra. That's our security, our stability, uh, where, we, where we sit in the world, all of those good things. And I'm gonna help her clear so we'll both be pulled backwards and forwards. And once she is cleared, her body will go back into the neutral position and her muscles will relax. Now with this, she might also go forward just like that. And because we're both doing it at the same time, it should go a little bit more quickly. And what I tell people when they're having this work done, this first part, I am clear, I am unclear, is just to make sure there's nothing, no um, energy sitting with you um, that needs to, to be let go of. Then we can get into the real subjects of what you want to work on. So being pulled back now for her to be cleared, it's okay. This is exactly what the work is. You can literally feel this, right? Yep, and small of my back. Yeah, and the amazing- Well, and the legs, the longer it wants to keep me here. 
Yeah, <laughs> like, that's the muscles we're yeah. tweaking out now. <laughs> the beautiful thing about this work is when I'm doing this work on someone, they absolutely feel it. There's no mistake, something is happening. Mm -hmm. They feel it. They, they literally, like something is pulling her back right now. This isn't a choice for her to be in this position. <laughs> and she can feel where it's leaving from. So a lot of people that have back pain or shoulder pain, mm -hmm. we do this work and they can literally feel whatever's there leaving them. Now, I know not everybody believes in every modality and that's okay, you don't have to. But I always say, be open. If something comes into your view, maybe somebody up there is trying to tell you something or show you a new way. So this work, once something is cleared from you, it's gone forever, it's permanent, it does not come back again. So if we clear a childhood trauma, if we clear a physical ailment, whatever it is that we clear, it's gone. I always say it's like the, the Holy Spirit takes it and, and runs with it and doesn't bring it back to you. Uh, angels, healers, whatever you want to use as your healer or the statement that you're most comfortable with, that's the statement that you personally would use or I would use while we were doing the clearing on you. This also works on homes, businesses, and uh, pets. So how are you doing? You still back a little bit? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm getting clear. Yeah, you're getting clear. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So you might say, well, what's going on? What's with her? This is everyday stuff. It's not that there's something big boogeyman lurking on her. This is our everyday emotions, our everyday um, fears. If, if we're switching jobs, there's a lot of stress with that. But then that stress doesn't leave. It just kind of sticks with us till we do something to allow it to leave. So now, this is a good way. Oh, I'm up. Somebody's in neutral. Yeah. Okay, so let's okay. try that again. Say, I am clear. I am clear. And she's going to the yes position, which is exactly what we need. Just like that, it worked. Now say, I am unclear. I am unclear. And no, which is the answer we need. Now, Cindy and I talked prior to the show about what she would really like to clear away. And for a lot of women, we want healthy, happy, loving relationships. But we haven't quite gotten there yet. So I just want you to make the statement, there is something stopping or blocking me from a healthy, happy, loving relationship. There's something blocking me or stopping me from having a healthy, loving relationship. Okay. Are you going forward? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, are you going yeah. forward as her body? Is, <laughs> like forward. she has to praise her. So there, there obviously there is. Now the something that's blocking her could be emotional, physical, psychological. But you know what? Here's the beautiful thing. That doesn't even matter. We don't need to know that. So we're just going to start clearing that now. I'm going to name not cause and effects. And she's going to be going backwards and forwards as whatever this is is cleared away. And while she's going back and forth, I'm going to be making statements like, this is from a past relationship. And I go forward, so we clear that. Because <laughs> we know our past relationships absolutely can do a number on it. It's not the relationship. It's typically the ending of the relationship. Yep. And when we look back and we say, um, Yeah, because it's pulling me. <laughs> it is. It's pulling really hard right now. So it was the end. <laughs> it's, and it's, it's just that we don't break up amicably in this world. We have to make somebody, you know, bad things happen and then somebody's a bad guy or a bad mm -hmm. girl and, and then we don't break up amicably. We don't have that happy breakup. We have the happy beginning, but no happy endings. <laughs> well, someone's always, someone always gets hurt. It does, it happens that way. So, what I can say is whatever it is that is stopping her or blocking her from moving on, and being in a healthy, loving relationship is now going to be pulled. And again, 
This can be a thought pro process, a belief, a program that's been running in her mind. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be released and gone forever. Now, Cindy has had this work with me before, so she understands how it works and what, what the capabilities of this work are. Mm -hmm. So do you feel this coming, um, like before you felt it in your low back, where do you feel it now? Right oh, the, yeah, the, the pelvis mm -hmm. area, which makes a lot of sense for most women. For I think every woman watching this, that will make perfect mm -hmm. sense, absolutely. So as that is um, being released from her, uh, there are other areas that are also being released, other th that they're releasing from. Everything from possibly a thought program, something in the heart that didn't quite let go yet, or other areas that might be being worked on. But the beautiful thing is, again, we don't need to know exactly what it was. All we need to know is that it's going now and that it will be released from her during this uh, session. So as they're pulling her forward, it's almost like an energy vacuum taking all the old stuff that's no longer needed and helping her have a new program, a new thought program and belief that she can now work with. And sometimes just letting go of that one thing that we want to let go of, that we don't know how to let go of, can change our whole future, our whole life. And that's when the magic starts to happen. And so when you're back in neutral, which <laughs> should be pretty soon, we'll it see. Feels like it wants to, but then it stops. And then you go forward mm -hmm. again. And, the, and there, sometimes there are layers. So sometimes we're, we get rid of one layer and we kind of go back and then all of a sudden another mm -hmm. layer starts and it pulls us forward again. So don't, so let it take its time. The biggest thing I always say is be patient, let it take it all now because we don't want to have to do it again yeah. in the future. So as long as it's, it's a good um, clearing and we get everything, it'll be good. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to be working over here, making some statements, clearing out all, all of it that uh, we can clear out. Okay, clear away. Clear that. <laughs> um, and as it's pulling from wherever it's pulling from, you're going to notice that uh, you it might shift spaces from where it is now to another space to start pulling from. Mm -hmm. And that's okay if it does. If it does, you can just interrupt me and let me know. And we'll keep working on you that way, okay? So I'm going to go through the list of things that it could be, and we'll keep uh, letting it clear you. And as it does, yeah, are you, yeah? Yep, we're going backwards now. Yep, so there we go, see? It clears stuff from the front, it clears stuff from the back. Um, and really, we go back and forth to move our energy, like as they pull her back, to pull stuff from the back. It's um, moving her so that they can get to where they need, need to get to pull it. Now, whenever people are clearing from the shoulders, that's just the weight of the world. Oh, that's absolutely. carrying that weight of the world on your shoulders, being very independent for a very long time, and not letting anybody else in to help out. Does that sound familiar yeah, at all? Vaguely. Just a little. So once this is cleared, the amazing thing is that all of a sudden you start looking at perspective men differently and you, you're looking at different types of men to be in your life. Because when we're not looking for anything serious, we find someone who's, eh, they're acceptable. It's okay. But when we start getting really serious about it, we've cleared all this trauma and hurt from the past, then all of a sudden we look at a whole different type of guy. Hmm. And it's pretty amazing. It's really quite amazing. And then we, we'll, we're thinking, oh my gosh, I do want this. I do want that. Like I came into this. Going back again. Good. 
good. I came into this life and I have never once in my life wanted to be married. As a teenager, they made me do a project that uh, you had to, uh, and I thought this was a horrible thing to make teenagers in high school do in it for a speech class, uh, your wedding and your honeymoon. And I cried through the whole thing because I could not even fathom the idea of getting married. Like, who wants to be trapped in a, <laughs> where, in a, in a contract with somebody where a judge has to tell you it's okay to leave. I mean, I, even at five, I didn't imagine getting married, never in this lifetime. So after doing a certain amount of this work, and I never ever worked on getting married, and I, I honestly, I used to think weddings were the biggest waste of money there were. Who would spend that much money? You would think I'm a boy, right? No. You're a lot of control. But then I was at the gym on the elliptical and say yes to the dress came on and this thought in my head went, oh, I'd wear that dress at my wedding and I almost fell I'm off circling. the elliptical. I'm circling. <laughs> oh, that's good. You're having a DNA change right now. Circling. Keep circling. That's a DNA change. So something intrinsically is changing within you right now. And that's the amazing part. Oh. So you can be a person that goes from thinking marriage is not for you in any way, shape, or form to going, oh, yeah, I would do that. I would actually do that now. So what we're clearing today is going to help you get back to that point where you will be open to that long term. See, you're already freaking out. Maybe I should wait to finish saying this. <laughs> that long I'm, I'm just puzzled how we're doing circular motions when I was doing run You've forward. never done the circle before, have you? You've never done a DNA change before, have you? No, we did, but that was more like side to side. swaying, not okay. circling. Yeah, this is, this is definitely DNA, so that's good. And sometimes they have to manipulate our body in a certain way to get that energy to move out, okay? Um, so that's just all, they're just getting it out. Okay. Again, just releasing it. So that's a really good thing. And once they do, you're going to be amazed at the difference and the changes that you see and feel. Okay. It'll be amazing. So, yeah. So and I, as she's circling, I'm going backwards. So with both of us working on it. Is it your shoulders? Yeah, it is. It's pulling from the left shoulder yeah. a lot. At first lot. it was this side, now it's that side. Yeah. I can still feel it, but it, no, yeah. I'm supposed to circle. Yeah, circles. you're just supposed to <laughs> circle right now. And I always say, just let them move you the way they need to move you. It doesn't matter how they contort your body. Now it's side to side. Oh, uh, there we go. That's control and abandonment. Control and abandonment. So just let it go there. And really what it is, I can give it all these different titles, and the titles don't matter, right? Wow, mm -hmm. we both just got pulled back really hard all of a sudden. Um, the titles really don't matter. The fact is they're just manipulating our body in a certain way or direction so they can take stuff out. <laughs> and I'm giggling because I don't think I can go back much I don't keep pulling it. It's, it's a, and this, I just have to say, this is, although this is an extremely powerful and effective type of healing work, it's also a little bit fun when this starts to happen. So I giggle a little bit at that. And then I just say, take slow, deep breaths so that you can keep your breath while you're doing this. Oh. <sighs> And then we're brought back up, or at least I am. You can stay back a couple more minutes because I'm being pulled forwards now. And the reason, again, this energy has been stuck in us for quite some time. You have to think, throughout our childhood, sometimes throughout our adulthood, our teenagers, things happen, and we don't know how to process that. We don't know how to let that go. So... This is one way to let it go. Yeah, right? I mean, it's not ready. seriously. But then when you know, when you say, okay, I have not been in a relationship for this long, it's, it's okay if that's a choice, but what is behind that choice? I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want this again. I don't want that again. Then it's not okay. This is a world of love. We come here to make love, to be Love and everything we do, everyone we commune with, everybody that we interact with, 
It should be of love. So as you move forward, if you are in a place where you're not able to have those loving relationships, if something is stopping or blocking that, then it's time to uh, clear whatever that is so you can be of love again, so that you can be in that position where you can, and making love obviously has two meanings, but make love, make the world a more loving place and make every relationship a more loving relationship even those intimate relationships. So we want to be able to be in those spaces where we are able to make love. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing the circle hip thing again, <laughs> like a hula girl. <laughs> and as we move forward and we're able to let this stuff go and be in those relationships, a whole new future opens up for us and uh, puts us in that place. Good girl. Let him pull you. I know I'm go you're going back. I'm going <laughs> forward. It's so funny. <laughs> and it's my shoulder still. Yeah. Well, and that is, that's, again, carrying the weight of that world, having all that stress and pressure, and just like carrying the brunt of the responsibility from whatever happened in that situation. Mm -hmm like taking on things that didn't belong to you because they did I know I did that. Yeah, I know. and they didn't belong to you. There was nothing you could have done to change the dynamics of that situation. So, but we take it on so that we feel like, okay, I'll take this and I'll go and it'll be okay. But we can't do that. We have to really be in that space where we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, and there you go, forward again. So, and we're both going forward still. Yep, yep. Oh, you're going back again? <laughs> yeah, yep. that's good. So you can see some things can clear very quickly, like the original cl clear, and some things might take a little bit longer to clear. The idea is just to have that patience and to be in that place where you allow you know, the angels or God, whatever term you want to use, to come in and take this and to remove whatever it is that's keeping you blocked in your life and having a uh, unfulfilled life. So if it takes two minutes, great. If it takes 20 minutes, that's okay too. It depends on how deeply rooted this is in you. So what, what Cindy can expect is that after this is cleared, <laughs> then Right away, she should feel lighter. She should feel happier and healthier. But then over the next couple of weeks and up to four weeks, she'll feel stronger. And her whole thought process or belief system on this particular subject will change because all the things that were stopping her from moving forward in the area of relationships will be gone. And she'll be free to move forward and open up. And that makes sense in the reading that they said four weeks mm -hmm. because this it, they're saying it should take, by that four-week mark, you should be where you want to be with this. Absolutely. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, still rocky. Still rocky, and the hips are still circling, or side to side. They're side to side now. Excellent, excellent, perfect. And do you feel it pulling from any certain area? It's my back. Again? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's really good. Excellent. And I feel some, some stuff from the neck going now. Oh, good. So that's, that's always good, and that's always the stress factor, and knowing that that stress can, can, can be gone and relieved. Yeah. So the right side for you is really big. Like, it's all going out the right side, I feel like, right now. So that's, that's important, too. That's really important, too. Now you're going forward. Yep, I am. I am going forward. Yes. So as Cindy continues to clear all that is blocking her, I'm going to ask her just one or two little questions. Okay. Uh, so what do you feel with this work is the best part of it? 
because I've been talking the whole time, so. I think the best part, well, during it or after it? Both. Um, the best part during it is the fact that you're standing here and your body is just going frontwards or backwards. It's kind of neat. Um, afterwards, you really do feel the relief. Yeah. And you have a few bad, weird dreams. Not bad. Yes, that's so you true. You have weird dreams. But then... Um, you, I don't know, it's like you're free from it. Yeah, exactly, you're just, you're free from it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was, which we don't need to invest in again, you're absolutely free from it yeah. and you have the ability to move on in your life and not be stuck in that place anymore, yeah. which is an absolutely amazing thing. It's powerful. It is, it is. And a lot of people will think, well, they're just moving their body back and forth. We're really not. This is yeah, just... You can Come try it if you want. Yeah, I'll be happy to show you. <laughs> stand up and do it with us. Put this on replay. Go back to the beginning. Stand up and do it with us, and you'll feel your body going back and forth also. And, uh, and, and then you'll giggle and maybe be a little freaked out at first. Um, but remember, it's always of the love of light that is coming through and working to heal you in any way they can, okay? So as we get ready to close out, I just, I want to thank you so much for joining us in this episode of Healing with Tony, and I want to thank you so much for allowing us to bring this clearing modality into your home. If you feel like this is something that is good for you, please reach out to me and let me know. Again, thank you for watching this episode, and until the next one, have an amazing day.